Good afternoon, everyone. This is Teacher Dean or Professor Dean. And today I am going to show you how to log in to Intuit Financial Literacy Courses. The first thing you see is let's get into it financial basics. And what you do from the link that I share, which is intuit.com solutions job readiness, right here at the top, that's the link. What you're going to do after you click into the link, if you're watching on the YouTube, type this link in, you should be able to get in. Now, the next thing you do is you click the country you're in, which is United States for many of you. So go ahead and click United States. Then you will see a page that shows, get started with our new financial literacy workshops today. You're going to scroll down. And it's usually at the front. If not, let me go back to the beginning page. and click at the top. Sometimes it's at the bottom, sometimes at the top. It brings us back to this page. Now let's scroll down, passing power and prosperity in the classroom, building the financial literacy gap. We scroll all the way down. You see this one that says Intuit Financial Basics Workshop? That's what we'll go over in the court classes and in the course. So for most of my courses, you just need to do five of these. I like the ones about financial habits, building credits, building financial capability, building home mortgages, investors, college education. There's quite a few of them. Building college financials right here. And for most of the college students, I would recommend you do that. Now, the first thing you do here, let's say you put in your first name, you put in your last name, you put in your email address, your school, right? You put in the school that you attend, you put in the school, the school type, sorry, you select your school type. So many of you are coming to college, some of your adult education, you put your school name, whichever school name you want to put, Miami, Broward, whichever one you want to put, Palm Beach. You put your job title if you have any. If you don't have a job, you just go ahead and put student. You should be able to see student. All right. That's what you would normally do on this page. And then you submit. When you fill in this page, this is to stay in contact with all the workshops. If you That is the first page that they give you. Now, if you scroll right here, scroll right here, you see Intuit Financial Literacy Course, get started. So even if you do not register, for the one up for here at top, that's just to stay in touch. You just click get started. Do we see that right here? Now, when you do the get started, just give it a minute, then it will open. Now, when you do get started, you see all the workshops right here. Financial basics, financial capability, financial resilience, college financial, adulting, preparing for retirement, investor education, and healthcare finances, small business startup. Now, as a person, I will click the get started right here. shows me all the workshops that I need to complete. In order 
for you to submit completed, you need to make sure you have a login. Do you see right here? You see I click the word login? Click continue with Google. Click this part. That part is necessary for you to have so that when you log in again, you don't have to keep logging in over and over and over again. So I would do cl clicking um, continue with Google. And many of your school's account is a Google account. Some of you don't know that yet. So you put in your student email account. That should get you in. If that doesn't work, just use your Google account. I hope that helps you to know how to get in to into it. Now, after you do that, I already have a sign on. These are the workshops. The first one is five minutes. The next one is seven minutes. The next one is five. So most of them may take 30 minutes for you to do. But this is basically just to teach you how to log in. When you finish the workshop, it will move from in progress to completed. When you finish the first workshop, then you can go to the next workshop, to the next workshop, to the next. I hope this helps you. And when I say to the next workshop, here's another workshop they show you. Small business startup. Then they show you preparing for retirement. Then it shows you healthcare finances. So if I'm finished with the first workshop and I want to go into healthcare finances, I just go ahead, click the healthcare finances. Then I go in and I start you looking at introduction to healthcare financing. In mine, it's going to give me a zip code to put in. So I'm going to put it in a zip code. And I'm going to put the next. So now after I do that, it open up. And then I'm able to read intro to healthcare financing. And this is for America. So I read all of this. And it tells me that half of Americans have health care insurance, while other purchased through insurance marketplace made by the Affordable Care Act, et cetera, et cetera. And then it tells you about Medicaid and Medicare. Then you click Next. Then you read on about the basic terminologies regarding health care. Then it also makes you go next. And when you're finished and complete all these sections on this side, you will learn about the healthcare in America. Let's say you're finished with everything, you click exit. If you're not even finished with everything, you can click exit and you're able to go back in to the Intuit side. So I hope this was helpful. If you need any additional information, please let me know and I'll create an, another video to make sure it's clearer for everyone. Thank you. Have a superb day.